We just pray for the people of Japan, Lord, bless them. Come, Holy Spirit, we just pray that you come in our weakness with your strength. We need you, we love you, help us to serve you well. We lift your name up, we want to see your glorified. Amen. We received an email from JP about coming to visit back in 2014. It might have taken us a while to get here, but we were stoked to finally make it to Japan. On pretty much all the trips we lead, our goal is to lift up, encourage, and equip those that are serving on the ground full time. The goal for the trip was simple, to spend some time with JP, getting to hear his story and vision, and our hope was to encourage him to keep going strong. When I was 19, I broke my, my back at the contest, and then I thought, okay, I'm done with snowboarding, that's it. I pretty much burned like all the pictures because I thought, man, it just hurts. I started with drugs as well, and I realized, man, I, I, I'm so messed up, I can't stop anymore. And I went to the service, and the pastor walked up to me, and he just gave me a prophecy of my whole life. He told everything, like the deep stuff, and I knew, man, the Bible is real, and God is real, and I have to check him out. I started reading the Bible, started to pray, and it was like a day-night experience. joy I never experienced them before. That's why I'm stoked and want to share it with other people. Then after becoming a Christian, I, I give all my life like full hardcore into ministry and I, I thought it's a waste of time like going to the mountains. But then um, God just like brought me back like to this old passion and said, hey, all these guys, they will never ever set a foot in a church. And I commanded you to go, not to bring people in, like go. And so I asked the Lord and said, like, I'm ready, please, please send me, but I don't know where to go. The funny thing is I knew nothing about Japan, like nothing about the language, nothing about the culture. I only had like the snowboard peaks in my mind, my passion in snowboarding, like in Japan, you know, all the powder pictures and it just comes together. Like Japan is one of the biggest unreached people groups in the world. Here in Japan, there's so many snowboarders on the mountains, like there's so many people every weekend, so many surfers. People say 3.5 million surfers in this country and never ever heard about Jesus. And that's what I do, I just go. I take it as a tool and meet people in the lifts and share a story. God puts you often like in a spot where only you can minister. When we asked JP if he knew any other Christians that snowboarded, he mentioned a pastor in Niseko that actually taught snowboarding lessons. We knew right away that we needed to go visit him. Japan holds a special place in our heart. The knowledge of the spiritual need in this country, combined with the magnitude of the action sports industry, was one of the inspirations that actually founded the work of Right Nature. So when we were given the chance to be a part of the service at the church in Niseko, as you can imagine, it was a highlight for our team.
ニュージーランドに日本人協会手伝いなんかっていうふうに日本人がたくさんいたんだけど、うん、その日本人はどんな日本人だったかっていうと、うん、上を目指してスノーボーダーとかスキーヤーがと友達になるためにはスノーボードをやらなきゃいけないと思ってその安いボードを買って最初はできなかったけど。なんていうかな天の父の懐に抱かれてる感じがするスノーボードっていうそのスポーツ素晴らしいものを神様は僕にギフトとして与えてくれた。スノーボードを通して自然の中にを滑ることを通して神を賛美して神を礼拝できる。もうね、これは神様からのプレゼント。もう本当雪が降ってくるときに、神様感謝しますって、本当に晴れるやってこう。Sitting next to JP while riding up on the ski lift and seeing how God is using him to bring the good news of Jesus to others is something we will never forget. It was beyond encouraging to say the least. Japan is unlike any country we have ever visited. From the outside, at times it can seem very discouraging for the Christians and leaders investing in others. But every now and then, you get a little glimpse of hope that keeps the fire burning. <laughs> 